Welcome back. We've just turned all the uh, ovens off. So now we have to make our way back to the room with the ovens so we can use the elevator. <sighs> this thing is so annoying to jump up on for some reason. You have to be exactly at the center. Okay. Interesting thing is that in the other mixers uh, that we turned off, there's still some water remaining. Uh, this one is completely dry. So it seems that this one probably hasn't had water in it for a long time. Which would indicate that other people have also been using this uh, method of getting into, uh, into the back of the factory another piece of evidence to uh, support my conjecture that that hole in the grating was made on purpose. Well, you can see that now all four of the platforms are rotated outwards because all of the ovens are turned off. This then allows us to take the elevator all the way up. You wonder why that is though. Why would these things rotate? Well, it's possible that maybe it gets really hot up here. Maybe this thing has something to do with uh, supplying the uh, ovens with power or maybe it's uh, like a a vent, a ventilation system or something. So maybe it's a security measure to prevent people from coming up here while the ovens are on. It might be dangerous for some reason. Well, this room has two exits. One on each side. Just pick one, it doesn't really matter. And we come outside. Well, it seems that behind the factory here there's a, an ocean or a lake or something. And we can see some mountains in the distance. So it seems that not uh, every part of this age is as dry as the dried up riverbed that we've been uh, walking through. And I think that actually this is the uh, river delta. The river would flow through here before the factory was here then come out into the sea here. But now this entire factory has been built where the river used to be. Up here we can find some more new clothes as well as a backpack. And there is a hole with a ladder leading down, which I apparently missed and just fell down. Okay, I did not know that was possible, but it is quicker. There's a shell cloth here, which we can touch, of course. Now we're on the other side of uh, the broken path. You can actually push this stone. Yeah, that was a very useful camera angle. Pushes the stone into the hole between the bridges. And now we can walk across here. But let's check this room here first. There's some kind of device here. And 
by the look of these patterns on the wall, I would say there's water at the bottom. Seems to have the same kind of orange glow as the water in the lake in the Dunny Cavern. There's a lever here. That doesn't look like I can actually... Uh oh wait, yes I can. But it doesn't do anything. And there's a button here, which also doesn't do anything. Well, the control center doesn't have any controls to turn this thing on, so it seems that that would have to be done another way. There's also a linking book here, as well as uh, a linking stone. Linking stone looks like it goes to the Barrow Cave that we've been before, so let's check the linking book first. Where does that take us? We find another device here. Oh, we have no clue of the purpose. And again, some orange looking water down there. It's not really clear where we are. Linking book back to Arcana here. And the ladder. So let's go up the ladder. I see some lights here, and I think they actually use uh, fire marbles as the source of illumination. Well, doesn't look like there's much of interest here, except another one of these number clues. 3, 110. Looks like this may have been the main entrance or exit, but it also looks like we cannot open it from this side. Nothing else here. We can, however, look outside a bit. You can just barely make out, it's hard to see, hard to recognize, the um, Gate of Carath over there. So we are actually in the Dunny Cavern. But no idea what we can do with this location. So let's head back to Arcana. Because there's nowhere else we can go in Arcana, let's check that Barrow Cave again. The last time we were here I noticed that uh, there were these symbols on the wall, but we didn't really know uh, what they were for. Well, let's look at them more closely. You can see that they're circles with a whole bunch of uh, spokes and a, uh, it has a symbol in the middle. And they resemble the symbols that are on the oven controls. So this symbol looks like the one for time. And if we count the spokes, see that there are 40 spokes here. This one looks like the pressure symbol. And there are 30 spokes here. And the third one looks like the temperature symbol, and there are 20 spokes. So, maybe that indicates these settings we need to use on the oven. 30, uh, 40 for time, 30 for pressure, and 20 for temperature. Well, let's try that out, see if we can do anything with that oven. Ah, 
And of course, that means that we will need to turn the ovens back on. Now, since I just used this um, shell cloth here, I'm going to have to walk the long way around. And also, it doesn't look like we can get through here while the elevator is up. So we're going to have to go back through the outside and take the elevator back down. But since we're out of time, I'll do that in the next video.